Hi. Our update on our cooking our first quail. I melted some butter, we put some garlic powder in it, and I've already put them on for 10 minutes and they're almost done. Um, 10 minutes in this new wave oven like we told you we had. And we're doing a little garlic butter on them. Now, I, uh, what I did is I cooked them on the breast side down. As you can see, they cooked very well. And now I'm, I buttered that side. Now I buttered this side. And we're going to put them on. They should be just about done because I've been on there for 10 minutes. And this new wave really cooks fast. But what we're going to do is we're going to put them on for another 6 minutes in the new wave. And we're going to do the cook time. And we're going to put six. And meanwhile in Dodge, Mommy's <laughs> stir, stirring the potatoes. And what's left of the garlic potatoes, or the garlic butter, we're going to put that right in with the potatoes. She could do that now. And, and we're making green. Can I take it now? And green beans. All right, we're going to do the cook. <laughs> it's very hot. Be careful. <laughs> He's last. Six minutes and hit start. And this has a fan in it so that it uh, it cooks. Hold the camera for one second. Oh, you can hand it to me by hand, honey. And as you can see, it's, it, the new wave has a fan. I don't know if you can see that up there. It has a fan up in the top, and it cooks with convection and infrared and microwave all in one unit. And you can cook a chicken in 20 minutes. They're not that minutes. either. How much are they? I paid about a hundred and a hundred and a quarter for it, brand new. And I've had it probably seven years, eight years. I'd come home from work when I was living alone, and I'd put uh, a steak in there or frozen shrimp and in seven minutes I was eating. I mean it, it'll cook frozen to to cooked in just minutes. You get a chance to get a chance to look them up. It's called New Wave. Sometimes you'll see uh, infomercials on it. And there's two racks actually that come yes, with that. Yes, it comes with two racks. It comes with an extra piece so if you want to do a turkey in it, it'll do a turkey in an hour or so. It's uh, amazing. You really ought to look one up. I don't know why Ruthie doesn't use it more, but... Would you I grab me that. a... Uh, here's my delicious green beans. Will you grab me a bowl to put the green beans what in, dear? A cup bowl. One of those cup bowls. One of our rooster cup bowls. Ooh, smell that garlic. Mmm, I can smell the garlic. It does can smell you really smell good. The garlic I, I can. That's why I said it. No, I'm asking the. Oh, they can probably smell it. This isn't really we supposed need, to be in the kitchen right we there. We need smell a vision. You, smell a vision. This is really good smelling stuff. Green beans. Will you put those in the microwave for me in the second here, dear? What do you want? For a minute, two minutes? Yeah, somewhere in there. That sounds good. I don't know if we need this. We shouldn't start that yet. I'm gonna pop the fuse with that. Oh way. yeah. Yeah, we've got a few situation going on here. Well, it's an old farmhouse. Did you put the garlic butter in there? Okay. Yes, I did. So, anyway, dinner will be done soon, and we will be enjoying dinner. I'll get the cranberries out. Oh, yeah, he's made, got, he has cranberry, too. Doesn't that sound yummy? And my delicious Clover Valley potatoes. Don't add too much. I had more liquid in here than I really needed. So you use the whole box. Okay. It, was, it wasn't the whole box. Oh. It was only a smidge of a smidge okay. of a smidge. Did you smidget. need more butter or is that fine? No, that's good. So here I I actually put too much liquid in it. But it will that's Ruthie. clay. <laughs> <laughs> actually, now this is a subject of debate because sometimes I talk about this with different people. But I could cook. But not like I never really did a lot of cooking until I got with Clay. So this is Clay has taught me to cook the way he likes me to cook. So and these are those organic green pans, which we like. Organic is what they're or called. Organic. 
So I'm going to get these a little bit nicer. So I have found that if my potatoes, the more potato stuff you add, <laughs> the thicker the potatoes get. But they taste good. But see how these are actually old pans. And look at look how nice they stay. Now I have another pan called, what's the other green pan that we have? I, there was a couple pans that we came through that, boy, I'll tell you, they were lousy. Used them one time, and you don't know if you can ever use them again. <laughs> again. So, and sometimes we'll have to show how we take care of cast iron, too. Yes. That would be good. So, anyway. a nice cast iron frying pan that I bought, and Ruthie never cleaned it up, so. Well, it we'll was, it was like a that. yard sale kind of, like. No, it was an auction. It was an that. auction, and, and. I guess I had to say is it's a you beautiful pan. Good. Yeah, I do. It's a beautiful pan. I just have to um, get it nice and shiny, and there's a way to do it. And because we want to get as much cast iron as we can, because cast iron is the way to go. You love my dishes. I've got to tell you about these dishes. These <laughs> dishes are so expensive. Oh my goodness, they're terribly expensive. Yeah, right. Dollar store. <laughs> But they're really nice looking dishes. But we like them. And they have the saucers and they have the, the bowls and they have even have the cups and the glasses. I got tickled because I... And that's the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. Well, you know, I used to have beautiful dishes and all that kind so of did stuff. I. I had the rooster plate. There's one of the old plates up there. We use oh, it for decoration. Yeah. But I, I used to have really, really beautiful dishes and stuff. But, you know... I, my well attitude done. is I like to have things that, that you know, work for me. If they're not working for me, it doesn't do me any good. So. One minute for quail. Okay, guys, I got to go because the quail are calling me. Quail, 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 quail. But Please this was there. 16 minutes. Out. Well, hold on. You Let better see flip what them it, to see. No, we've it's already done. flipped them. They're done, believe it. How they do were I know? All, they were 10 minutes on the other side. How do I know they're done inside? Because quail doesn't take as long as chickens to cook. Did you my cut dear. it open and look? It takes 20 minutes to cook a whole chicken. It shouldn't take more than 16 for a quail. Hello, I know you're not lying. Then you'll be eating raw <laughs> chicken and or quail. But no, it's it's done. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful oh, dark meat quail. Yeah, that looks beautiful. They, well, they say you don't have to cook quail all the way. You know, you but Clay has cooked the quail all the way. You know what I noticed about it? It's in the shape of a heart. This is the brush. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. That's really nice looking. Oh. Well, guys, we love you, but hey. We're hungry. We're <laughs> starving. We will talk to you. Clay, did you even eat today? No. I have. This is my first time I've ate. Well, actually, you ate some chili. Yes, I did. I, before I... But he yeah. only ate chili really, really late. And I was getting worried that he wasn't eating. Look at little hearts. Oh. And that's just the breast meat. Look at They look like a little heart. All right. I'm going to leave these two here for Russell. Okay. We, if Russell doesn't come home, we'll eat those too. Okay. <laughs> would you would, would you put some green beans on my plate, please? I have to cook them, honey. Oh, they haven't been cooked yet. Mm. So, but, two minutes and then you'll be done. Some some uh, of my delicious mashed potatoes. <laughs> my delicious mashed. Yes, Clay. I'm sorry, honey. And some green beans. And look, it looks like when you, they hear quail, they know that's a gourmet dish and. And all you have to do is use instant potatoes, <laughs> can, creaming cranberry, and here, honey, let me get you some more. And the garlic and the potatoes. That's fine, honey. So, take a bite of the quail. You get to, you know, yeah. you have worked so hard on it. Let's see. I worked so hard on it? I mean, raising it up and butchering it? And buying it and all that really good hot. stuff. Can you take mm. a bite now? Is it too hot? It's pretty hot. Yeah, it's all dark meat, just like a thigh would be, or chicken leg. Mmm. Is it good? It's really oh good. boy. It looks We delish. will be butchering more quail. Definitely. I'm looking because, is it done? Yes, it's done. It looks. Oh yeah, it's, it's done. done. It's 16 minutes in the new wave. Yeah, cut it through. Let's see. It looks redder in here. Look how red yeah. it looks. Well, it, it, it looks like it's the... raw. It's not. No, it's not. It's, it's not. It's, it's brown. Just... Oh my goodness, it looks red in here. Look. Isn't that good? Look at how it's, it's really dark brown. It is so weird. It's delish. 
It must be the light. Huh, that's yes, so it's got to be the light because that's, that's cooked all the way to the yeah, bone. See, it's falling right off the bone in there. It looks like it's raw, but it's not. It's dark brown. Huh? Must be the light. Move the light away. See? Oh. I can't shut the, move the light away. Well, anyway, all I said was thank you, Quail. Quay, Clay, Quay. <laughs> Quee, Quay. Quee, Quay. Here's a knife you can use for cutting your quail. I guess your poor thing. Okay, guys. Have a blessed day. All we're waiting for is green beans, and we can eat. And we'll snuggle up and watch a movie. My we're, we're glad Clay that, and I. We're glad that we could help you to learn one recipe for quail. And as we do other ones, we'll maybe show you those too. If not, there's hundreds of recipes on YouTube. And you can get... There's the bean. All kinds of recipes that you can use and not have to wait around for us. Well, stay tuned for our next video and we'll see what else we've cooked with the quail or any other exciting things that happen on the Popo Backyard Farm. Right, darling? Right. And thank you for showing showing up to see our and having first dinner with cook, us. Our first cook of the quail. And having dinner with us. And having dinner with us. I'm sorry you couldn't get a chance to take a bite. Mm-hmm. Looks yummy. Here's okay. your beans, dear. <laughs> okay, here, now he, I get my beans now. Okay, thank you, love. Put your cranberries off to the side there. We'll be married three years this year, you know. Yep, December 12th. We got married in the evening. That's the end of this weekend here, honey, mm -hmm. coming up. And we already decided what we're going to do. Yep, we're going to eat more quail. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we're really easy going. <laughs> anyway, have a blessed day. This is Ruthie and Clay from the Popo Backyard Farm. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.